I've supported Freedom From Hunger's work to end hunger through self-help for a number of years. What impresses me most about Freedom From Hunger is the insight that a mother's love for her children is an unstoppable and underutilized force for change. Their programs bring opportunities to women in the form of very small business loans and practical life skills training that equip mothers to feed their kids on an ongoing basis, not just today and tomorrow, but for good. As a mother myself, I know all moms want the best for their children. I know they will make sacrifices to ensure their children are well nourished, have clothing and shelter, and that they'll go to school. Freedom from hunger is determined too. Determined to give mothers opportunities that make the most of their hard work. The programs offer a dignified self-help answer that empowers women and gives them every reason to be proud of their accomplishments. I continue to support Freedom From Hunger because I think of all the families around the world who are still hungry and are waiting for their chance to change their lives. Right now, Freedom From Hunger is reaching out to extend their programs to millions of women and their families. I hope others will join me in my support of Freedom From Hunger to help millions of families end their own hunger for good. Freedom from hunger sees things differently and acts accordingly. The problems of world hunger and poverty are as large as they are misunderstood. More than two billion people live on two dollars per day or less. And more than half of those survive on so little they don't get enough to eat. This is chronic hunger, the world's most common and persistent form of hunger. It is also the most common cause of death in young children. In fact, the majority of the 16,000 children who die each day from causes related to hunger are only mildly to moderately malnourished. They are victims of common diseases that their immune systems could easily defeat if they were properly nourished. And it doesn't have to be this way. Most of the world's hungry are not victims of famine or natural disaster. They suffer in poverty from generation to generation. While handouts of food can help in a famine, people enduring chronic hunger need a more sustainable solution. They're looking for answers that will help end their hunger for good. The most effective programs recognize that families living in poverty are hardworking and ready to help themselves. They need services that preserve and promote their dignity so they can walk the path to self-reliance. Freedom from hunger succeeds in making a lasting difference, indeed one that is renewable and expanding, with programs that capitalize on one of the world's most powerful and dependable forces, a mother's determination to feed her children. Freedom from hunger invests in women like Efua. Efua lives in the West African nation of Ghana, she and the women in her village might have been considered charity cases by other organizations. But Freedom From Hunger saw something more in Afua. We saw a hardworking entrepreneur who was ready to succeed. I was married for 30 years. I have six children, four boys and two girls. The oldest is 30. The youngest is 13. She too has a baby. Before my husband died, I was a fish smoker. He would buy the fish so I did not have to. After he died, life was very difficult. My husband's brother gave me money, but I could not always count on that. Sometimes I sold my clothes to buy food for my children. It became more and more unbearable. Efua is not unique. In 16 of the world's poorest countries, in Africa, Asia, and Latin America, Freedom From Hunger is bringing services to women who want to achieve self-sufficiency and safeguard their family's health. Freedom From Hunger's programs make the most of women's natural tendency to work together. The organization helps women form self-help groups that give them the chance to borrow money to start home-based businesses, to set aside savings for emergencies, and to join in practical discussions about health, nutrition, business management, and household budgeting. Because of education from my group, I know how to manage my business well. I now also know how to sell to get profit, and I learned how to properly feed my child. Together, 
the women encourage each other to overcome the obstacles that keep them locked in poverty. The result is that women become agents of change in their homes and in their communities, spreading the benefits of their newly gained knowledge to more and more people. The women save with each other, lend to each other, and use this money to really strengthen or start a microenterprise. And with the collective courage they have in their groups, they really take action to improve the lives of their family and their community. The story of how these services are delivered demonstrates another way that Freedom From Hunger does things differently. Freedom From Hunger works alongside local people, ensuring that services are appropriately adapted to honor customs and traditions. By training the staff of local organizations to reach out to overlooked communities, Freedom From Hunger can expand its reach and ensure sustainability. Within a short time, each partner begins working independently, and Freedom From Hunger is able to move on to expand services in new areas. Freedom From Hunger's partnership strategy makes it possible for a relatively small organization to impact the lives of many. And Freedom From Hunger doesn't take it on faith that it makes a difference. Through regular monitoring and rigorous studies, the organization documents its progress and learns how to improve effectiveness. These studies show that 98% of women who borrow repay every penny plus interest. Women have better skills for business. Women and their families have more money in just one year. Young children become better nourished and healthier. More families use health supplies like mosquito nets to prevent illness. Women speak out about new health knowledge with friends and neighbors. Margaret Mead, the famed anthropologist, once said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Freedom from hunger is one such small group of people who are dedicated to lasting change. By working in new ways with mothers who are determined to feed their children, with local partners who are ready to help their fellow citizens, and with donors who are committed to a better world. Freedom From Hunger has launched a major movement. Freedom From Hunger is in the midst of an ambitious plan that will demonstrate the power of what people can achieve when they work together in new ways. Freedom From Hunger's Reach for Three Million plan will increase services from 300,000 to three million women by the year 2010, while only doubling the operating budget. And as studies show, the benefits of these self-help programs will extend to the women's families, ending hunger for an estimated 15 million people. Freedom from hunger's friends, donors, and volunteers support this work with confidence. Charity Navigator has awarded Freedom from Hunger its highest rating of four stars. Nobel Peace Prize winner Muhammad Yunus co-chairs Freedom From Hunger's Ambassadors Council, and Worth Magazine named Freedom From Hunger one of America's best charities. Now you can join with an organization that sees things differently and acts accordingly. You can join Freedom From Hunger's network of committed individuals who are bringing innovative self-help programs to thousands upon thousands of hardworking families. You can join with other donors, local partners, Freedom From Hunger, and the women themselves who are proving they can end their own hunger if only given the chance. But without you and your commitment, they will continue to wait. You can act today. Join us. A world without hunger is possible.